Hey guys, Satya here. In this video, we'll see how, how to automate driver with web driver manager. Okay, so web driver manager is a Java library, free Java library. We'll see today how to use that. And uh, before that, we'll see why to use that. Okay, so what exactly this automate driver is? So whenever you write some Selenium code, what exactly you do is, I have a piece of code here, <coughs> sample piece of code. So I have a test URL, Just uh, I'm just uh, using this URL, GitHub URL, and uh, I'll set up driver here. <coughs> then uh, uh, I'll maximize that um, uh, the browser once it opens, then I'll navigate to the URL, I'll wait for three seconds, then I'll close this browser. Now, in the regular approach, what exactly we'll be doing is, now let's say we'll be using Chrome driver. So how to do this? So initially, we'll be setting some properties, right? This will be some web driver, the property uh, and name. Then we'll be giving the, uh, let's say if you, this Chrome driver, Chrome driver, path will provide you right so once it is set okay, then we have this driver then we'll be setting this uh, <coughs> driver will it will initialize with chrome driver object right so this is what the regular approach we do right now if you see here you will be providing a chrome driver path here right what it means is you manually download that chrome driver so in this code there is a driver folder here directly and uh, i downloaded this manually chrome driver binary file and put here and this path i will provide here while setting this property right that is what my manual work <coughs> i do right now this is not one time so what will happen is, uh, so today you downloaded this Chrome driver uh, binary file and put here, exe file and put here, okay, the path you, you provided here. Now, tomorrow when you are running, let's say in your system, the browser version is changed. So if you go here, I'm just taking an example for Chrome. Right, the browser version is changed. So you would have uh, downloaded a few days back some other uh, version of Chrome driver. Now today you are running because you are providing this path here. It is hard coded. Now <clears throat> because this version is changed, you have to, it won't work. You have to download again the Chrome driver manually and place it here. Then this code will work. So that is the manual work you have to do in case it doesn't work. Right? Uh, I mean, in, in the case, the version is changed in your system. The browser version is changed in your system. Right? <coughs> so, what it will do, this web driver manager, in that case, it will be very helpful. So, it will automate. It will automate. So, it will check. So, <coughs> whenever you use this code, related code, what it will do is, two things it will do. Automatically, whenever you are running your code, it will check your browser version in the system. If you are using Chrome browser, then it will check Chrome browser version. Then second is, if it is the same, then it will proceed. If it is different, then it will automatically, it will download that, uh, the exe file. Okay. It will download to this dot cache directly in your system. Will so I'll show you. Okay. Now this will be there in your user directory. So let's go here. Okay. So if you see here, this is my C drive. I'll go to users, the user dot cache. This is the directory. This is the folder inside one selenium is there right so now what exactly we'll be doing is whenever we run 
it will check the browser version. So if we run this code using WebDriver Manager, this is the regular approach. I will comment it. We will see how to use the WebDriver Manager. But when, after implementing this WebDriver Manager, after using this code, when you run this code, it will check this browser version. So it will come and check this browser version. What is the browser version? Second is if it is different, it will download the latest driver version into this dot cache folder selenium now here if you see in under selenium chrome driver we have 30 but here if you see the version we have now is 1085359124 but here we have is 1085359271 okay so the version is different we have a chrome driver here but it is a different one so ultimately now if we use the web driver automatically it should download that so let's see how to use that code <coughs> okay hope this is clear second is so we'll see now how to use that so to use that this is available in the maven if, if you are using uh, purely java then you can download that uh, jar and uh, you can use it include it or else if it is a maven or gradle or any any <coughs> building uh, uh, dependency you can use then i'm using here uh, maven so i'll go to form so if you see here let's go here let me show you where Manager right, you can see in Maven repository. This is the group ID. You can go here. You can see here from long time it is the 2015 to 2020, it is going on. So you can take any uh, <coughs> dependency, you can use it. So this is for Maven, I'll use it. So this is what I'm using 530 version. So this is the dependency I'm using it. So whatever building tool you are using, then once you <coughs> put this dependency, you can build it. So once you build it, you can come across here in the whatever the library is downloaded. You can come and see here. It will be there in IO GitHub. Yeah, you can see IO GitHub, uh, Bonnie Garcia. Yeah, this is the person who developed this. Then you, you can see here all the related code is downloaded. Fine. So let me close this. So once it is downloaded, then we have WebDriver Manager class. So this is the dependency done. Then we'll see how the how it is different you know, against uh, how you do regular approach. So regular approach we already saw. This is how we do. So now, how we will set this driver, <laughs> right? So what exactly we will be doing is driver equal to using now web driver manager. You can see this is the group ID, data Boni Garcia, web driver manager dot will be using what? Chrome driver, okay? Chrome driver. And directly you can use here create. Okay. This create is returning nothing but go drive. Okay. This is initiated now. So this step, this step will open the browser. So this step exactly. So because this create, if you see here itself, if you go inside this create method, this is in the library this is setup and initiate driver so all this setup and initiating driver so all this stuff whatever we discussed two things it will check the browser and it will download if it is necessary all the step uh, all the those steps will happen here okay fine now then it will initiate it will open the browser then the regular code however we do it but here the advantage as we discussed is if next time when you are running, if the browser is changed, browser version is changed in your system, then automatically it will download. So there is no manual intervention, Man manual effort will not 
to be required now right so now this is what our code earlier you you were using this one now we'll be using this one okay now this is what the difference in code let's run it run it and see but now let's see this that our browser version in my system is 124 ending with 124 but we have very 71 right <clears throat> now let's run it so what exactly it will do is it will open github it will open sorry it will open uh, uh, browser chrome browser internally it will check the version and all it will open browser it will maximize it it will go to that url github wait for three seconds then it will close it so let's run it now it open it will go to github it will wait for three seconds it will close right so test is passed now let's see whether it is downloaded or not the latest version in 32 71 sorry so this this is starting with 108 right our version whatever you see here it's 108 okay 108 so it is the same thing okay 108 it will download if it is a different version so i'll show you if i make it to 107 right then if i run it so so what hope you are clear right so checks browser version then it downloads if it differs so what we ran now it didn't differ okay it's a 108 108 version so now if i run so now currently what version i have 107 version chrome drive okay now let's run it same thing it will do it will open github it will wait for three seconds then it will close okay so it work now let's go back and see yeah so 107 we made it earlier one so it downloaded the 108 version okay this is the old one this is the new one it downloaded because 108 version is the current version of our browser okay so that is how uh, this will be helpful okay so automatically you do not have to each time you need to check if, if browser fails or not able to open the browser because of this version mismatch then you do not have to uh, do it uh, manually it, it, it will do automatically okay and uh, second is uh, yeah so last point is supporting browser so what and all browsers it supports yeah whatever we use generally for for the automation it supports all the browsers most of the things it supports if you see here chrome driver it, it supports chrome chromium browser it supports as microsoft as it supports uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Opera, Safari, sorry, Safari, it supports, so whatever mainly we, we do test, all the browsers it supports, yeah, so uh, that's all guys, uh, hope this, this is helpful, and uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so thank you for uh, watching this video, uh, uh, see you in the next video, bye bye.